Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Let's Talk HR show with myself, Amy Fowler, our HR specialist today. She's going to be talking to us about all things HR and mental health related. So, Amy, what does HR mean to you? Um, so, this is a really interesting question, actually. Um, so, I've been working within HR for nearly two years now, which has gone super fast. Um, so, I've always been very passionate about HR. It's always one of them subjects that you don't really learn much about um, while you're at school and college and so on. So, it wasn't until my second year of college that I actually, we actually did a module on HR and I kind of learned what it actually is. Um, so, I just love the idea of being part of a function that lies so heavily like working with the leadership team and you know making sure that business decisions always align with what employees need and making sure employees are at the forefront of all decisions and um, you know we all spend a lot of time at work and um, there's a lot of hours that we that we spend so making it as enjoyable as possible for people you know whether that's um, supporting people with their development or as simple as you know providing fruit and nuts in the office um, just to put a smile on people's face has always been so important to me and that's really what HR is it's just kind of bringing a joy to working environment and making sure that everyone has a fair opportunity and really gets to enjoy their work as best as possible. That's a really brilliant perspective to share and I hope our audience got a lot from that so what inspired and influenced you to work within HR? So definitely what inspired me um, the most was, like I just said, that sort of uh, ability to give people the opportunities that maybe wouldn't be there in the past. You know, HR has definitely evolved over the years. Um, we very much get to work with leadership teams and, you know, provide opportunities for people, um, you know, bringing in new benefits or new development plans and everything like that, just to really help people succeed in their careers. Um, I think that's really what inspired me to kind of join HR. Um, you know, like I said, you never, you don't really learn much about HR when you first join, um, when you first study and so on. So it's really interesting um, to kind of see how it's evolved over the years. Um, you know, we spend, like I said, we spend a lot of time at work. So having the opportunity to work alongside leadership teams and really give people the opportunity to um, work well in their careers and, you know, make business decisions that really positively impact employees and their sort of everyday work and life is really what inspired and influenced me to join the HR community. No way, that's really refreshing and like great to hear, honestly. It sounds really exciting, all the stuff that you're doing that in your company to make sure everyone's on point, everyone's working together and the team's moving that's, forward. Yeah, yeah so, definitely. And yeah. I think it's really important everyone does have that same drive and works in the same direction. So one of the next questions is, why did you choose to work in your current organisation? Uh, so I work for Situ, which is a service department company. Um, so basically what that means is that we provide um, accommodation mainly for business travellers. So whether that's someone who's relocating for like a year or whether they're going for like a business event for a couple of nights, we'll kind of help them through their accommodation, make sure we find them the right apartment, in the right place with everything that they need. Um, so weirdly enough, I actually, um, Situ's based in Exeter um, and I did work experience at Situ when I was at college and um, I really enjoyed the fact that they really put their employees first and um, you know you can see straight off the bat as soon as you walk in the door um, that their culture is very important to them and we definitely do everything you know all our business decisions are in line with what our employees need and as well business needs as well and I think that was really important to me when I wanted to work for a company like that it's a small organization so which is really great for HR especially someone who's kind of developing and training because I get exposed to all areas of HR so one day I'm working you know on recruiting someone and then the next day we're setting up training sessions for all the employees so it's really varied which is really wonderful for my own personal development and um, you know doing work experience at Situ I thought for first hand the culture and how everyone 
um, gets on with each other. We are very much one team. So although we are separate departments, we all pull in the same direction. It can be busy at times. So we really support one another. Um, and, you know, we always make sure that everyone has all the support that they need. And, you know, that's really shown. We're quite a fun organization as well. You know, we have like a slide in the office. Um, we have music playing throughout the day. Like we, ha um, we have an uh, arcade machine. And I feel like all these little things really just make the organization really fun to work at but obviously with a lot of fun we do work very hard as well so it's like the perfect balance of um being a really great organization it's very much like i said it puts their um, employees at the forefront of every decision and i think for my own personal development as well that's really important because i can really see how the stitchy people our HR department really influences our leadership team and how closely everyone works to make sure the business continues to drive which it certainly is continuously growing which is super exciting especially again for the HR team because it just means lots of recruitment <laughs> <laughs> no way that's amazing to hear and like the fact that you've been on your journey there through work experience and that whole company that culture and that development has sort of sold you on your path you know what I mean so that's really amazing to hear. It's quite exciting, really, you know, to sort of show that, you know, you, you, when you originally when you walked in there on work experience, I bet you didn't think, oh, I'm going gonna, gonna to be working there full time one day. And now I see got planted in your head and it's grew into a big flower. <laughs> and now you Definitely, right? definitely that. I mean, people always say to me how you are on work experience compared to how you are now. I mean, they've just helped me develop so much through my career and you see it, how they do it with everyone and it's just really amazing to see um, everyone working so well together every day and um, like you say you never really go into a place and think oh I'm going to be working there full time when I finish college but yeah really lucky to have the opportunity to be at such a great organisation. That's fantastic. My next question is, is um, here it is, how important is mental and emotional well-being in the workforce? So obviously it's so critical to any workforce, isn't it? Both mental and emotional well-being. Um, you know, we at Situ know how important it is. We implement different strategies and, um, you know, benefits to kind of support people's emotional and mental well-being. Um, you see all these studies online showing how important it is. And actually for those who may be struggling a little bit, providing that support really it gets them back on like back as to where they need to be as quickly as possible and you know not having so having that support is really important and actually I think you know emotional and mental well-being it really shows through productivity if you're struggling a lot whether that's personal or professional you are go it's going to affect your work and we can we want to then be able to support you for both factors of that um you know one thing that we really support our um situ is our mental health and we we send out like train like little training packages um obviously not to some extent because we're not professionals but just little tips and tricks that people can use whether you know they are having a bad day and our situ people team again that's what we call our HR team have recently um we've taken part in the mental health first aid course so again just kind of finding them little some like symptoms and stuff that maybe we can then help people through um you know we offer a range of different benefits like uh we offer one of those discount packages where you can get like free counseling on there with private health which does cover mental health on there as well and um, we also one of my favorites is we offer reset days um so on our reset days you can take it for whatever reason uh whether that's for mental health purposes if you've just kind of had if you're a bit overwhelmed and you need just a bit of a cool off and just a bit of a break it's really great for that opportunity it doesn't count towards holiday you're you know it's just a day where people can really reset and just enjoy what they need to do sort of thing um you know it's very important that people are talking about mental health especially after this year I think kind of coming back to the office again from working from home again all these changes can be real factors that have a real effect on your mental health um, you know one thing that we did when we came back to the offices for a month before we came back 
part time. So we did like two days in the office before going back full time because actually it gave people the opportunity to kind of get used to a new routine again. And again, all these little things really help. And I think it just shows how important mental and emotional well-being is. Um, one thing that we always do is we always want people to talk about it. So whether that's with their manager or with the HR team or you know just even outside of work just making it a real comfortable subject that everyone can talk about just means that people will feel a lot more inclined to if they need to have then discussions when it comes to it um, and I think that's just ultimately it's one of the most important things to make a workforce work so well together is making sure everyone is happy and healthy as much as can be. That's brilliant, honestly. Like, it's really, really refreshing and great to hear that your company is so passionate about mental health. You know what I mean? It's like you're leading the charge almost on yeah. health being. It's so super to hear, honestly, because, you know, like, you know, I, I know there's people who work in jobs where they're like, oh, you see it when you go to, say, like, you know, supermarkets or wherever you go in different circumstances and different industries, people are just slogging away and they just, mental health just deteriorating, deteriorating, deteriorating. So it's really, really powerful to hear that your company is so on it because you understand the value of it, you know what I mean, of making sure happy employees are, you know, making developments and moving forward in a positive direction. It's so massive, you know what I mean? And I really, really appreciate what your company is doing and yourself as a leader within that company, moving the ball forward. So again, you touched on it a little bit, but what strategies have you found beneficial to support your employees' development and well-being? Yeah, definitely. So I think um, they really interlink both development and well-being. Um, in regards to sort of the development side, we have we do have um, strategies in place. Um, one of the biggest strategies that everyone can use is communication. You know, just being able to talk to your employees and actually hearing firsthand how they want to develop and how they are doing on a day-to-day -day basis is the most important thing so we wanted to implement strategies to kind of just give people them opportunities to communicate so for example one thing that we have at Situ is um, our grow plans which are personal development plans but we just feel grow plans shows it a little bit better on what it actually is um, so you know once every six months a manager and their employee will meet they'll discuss both their personal goals and professional goals as well so the employee will speak to their manager about this and I think showing both personal and professional goals is really important because say for example your personal goal is to buy a house however your professional goal is to get a salary increase well actually that falls quite per like quite perfectly into each other um, and you know we like to support people both professionally and personally so if we can you know maybe offered a, offered a mortgage advisor for someone to be able to look at um, their mortgages and their salaries and so on it really just interlinks really nicely together um, and especially looking at the development side of things so um, they can then work with their employee to see how, where they want to be and how they can get there um, so which is super important to us and again, I think that falls in really nicely um, with development is our monthly appraisal. So each month, P, uh, all our employees have a monthly appraisal. Again, looking at how they are um, doing in their job and how they're, if they're doing anything really well, if there's anything they can maybe improve on a little bit. Again, just giving people that sort of development and how they can continue to succeed. Um, I think, again, this falls in really perfectly with well-being in the sense that it gives people the opportunity and time so that time booked in your diary every month that if there is ever anything anyone wants to talk about well it's a perfect opportunity to kind of bring that up and it, it gives the employees the sort of um, support that maybe if they're feeling a bit nervous about it well their time's there they've got the opportunity to speak about it and again like I was speaking about before with the well-being side of things um, we do have a range of different strategies and benefits in place so you know like I mentioned about our reset days um, which is one of my favorites I mean an example of that is one of our employees took a reset day recently because they were just it can be a bit busy at work so they were feeling a little bit overwhelmed so we you know we want to support people taking these days so we they took the time off um, and they went walking around the malls um, for the day and they actually came back and I was asking them if they got up to anything on their reset day or if they just wanted to sit in front of the 
TV and watch movies all day and they mentioned that they went walking around the moors and they said it was so refreshing and they actually came back and they they felt so refreshed and so right ready to go and actually I think again that just shows you know you mentioned about sort of supporting people and actually that's a great way to support people but without having to talk to them all the time and kind of like micromanage them a little bit it's just giving them that time away to actually refresh themselves and they were probably more productive um after having that day than they would have been if they hadn't had that day so it's a really really great benefit that we offer um you know like i mentioned with we have private health care that again covers um mental health we have our discount packages again which has a mental health facility within that um you know we have fruit and nuts in the office and so you know just that sort of well-being side of things if you want a healthy snack we, we can provide it um, and i think all these strategies really just help both our um our employees both their development side of things and their well-being side of things and i think it really does make a big difference to how they work every day and it's really great to see people sort of develop through with the um with our growth plans and monthly appraisals that's brilliant like i really i really I love your strategies and uh, the development plans, the growth, sorry, the growth plans. Growth <laughs> plans. <laughs> growth plans. Yeah, they're, they're brilliant. You know what I mean, I was chatting earlier to a company uh, just previously and they were mm. talking about like, you know, development plans because, you know, I, I believe, you know, without progression, with each, everyone's different, obviously, of course, but understanding yeah. the employees that on an individual level of what they actually want to achieve is so massive because it shows that they don't just turn up and it's like groundhog day from every day they've got a mission and that mission can give them that purpose and happiness towards where they're going in their life so giving them that purpose behind their meaning that work is you know it's essential it's for that just that little bit of dopamine you get at the end of the week where you feel like you ticked all the things off what you needed to do and you've got there you know what I mean? Feeling fulfilled in, in your work, it's massive. So Definitely. And I think that's so important, especially when you say about like it gives people that sort of um passion to go for it. And it really does. And especially if you've had these talks, it's that sort of motivation, isn't it? And it's really and it shows in everything. Um it, it once these people have had these talks, it really shows when they are motivated. So yeah, it is a great thing to kind of be able to give our employees. Absolutely, absolutely, and it's and goals as well. Are just they're just good for your mental health in general. Like you know, like as myself, someone who suffers with bipolar, some people say, "Oh, your goals are really big," but you know what? If that goal inspires you to move forward, even if you get it or not, it's the person you become in the process, isn't it? Of what it makes you have to become and develop into to get there. So hundred percent, a hundred percent. It's so important. Absolutely. So my last question is, we're coming towards the end now, I'm a bit gutty because I could chat to you all day. You're so fire <laughs> today, like, bah, bah, bah. Love it, love it. <laughs> well, my last question is, in your experience, what have you found creates great leadership within your teams? Definitely. So I think this question, it, it's a hard question, really, because it really makes you think about um, your teams and so on. And like I said, I've not been in HR, like I've not been working for so long. So it's really exciting to kind of, I've not got like. I've got probably a little less experience than some people. However, um, I do think great, well, I mean, what makes a great leader is those who can motivate employees and those who can inspire them and support them. I think if you follow, uh, if you have them through great characteristics then you're gonna do really well. Um, I think that really shown from the leaders at Situ, um, you know, we're, we're all one team and the culture which has been created by the leaders and everyone involved, um, it really shows that everyone's inspired to work hard, everyone's motivated to watch Situ do as well as it can and everyone's supported and they support one another and I think that is really shown it's you know it's led by example from our leaders we you know they they show how important everything is and they're really open and honest and I think that's really people really respect that because actually you want to know how the business is doing and you want to know what your what what you're doing personally is helping the business and having these sort of communication um, and speaking to those I think it really shows how great leaders are and um, you know one one person who I've watched my whole life grow up is like my dad he works um it he he's a 
works with commercial director um, and you know I've spoken to a lot of people in his teams throughout the years and they've always said how um, motivating he is and he always wants to he's always fast paced and ready to go 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 and it really rubs off on them and actually they get really inspired and they want to work just as hard to kind of complete all the tasks and all the goals in place so I really do think a great leader has the ability to motivate their staff and um, you know, they are able to inspire them and support them through any times that they may need. And again, helping, you know, looking at the sort of development side of things and so on. I think people being able to be picked and being like, they're really good at their job. They deserve this. Like recognition is very important. And that is one thing that SITCHI do very well is people are recognized for their hard work. Um, and it really just creates a whole atmosphere of like working together and a really important culture um, so definitely in my experience great leaders can really inspire motivate and support their employees and that is definitely shown through the situ leadership team that is so so true Amy. and that empowerment behind you know that motivational messages that our leaders can can give us and stuff like that is so powerful because without it you know Sometimes you can just lose track of where you're going, you know what I mean? And everyone needs that little pat on the back and that little recognition, like you said, to be able to go, actually, yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what I mean? That's all we need. You know, we've been like that for thousands of years, haven't we? So it's good yeah. to check in, in the modern world that, you know, that leadership is strong and we can all benefit from positive leadership. So thank yeah. you so much, Amy. Honestly, you've been a star. I'm going to give you the star of the week, the star of the week. <laughs> so far, you know, it's Monday. <laughs> So uh, thank you for your time today. And I really, really appreciate everything you've said today. It really means a lot to me, not just myself, but to everyone who's listening to learn from yourself. So it's come to the, at the mm -hmm. end, guys. So uh, thank you so much, everyone who's listened in. I hope you've benefited just as much as I have. And, you know, stay tuned and check out the next podcast when it gets released. Stay strong, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs>